Uh, hello everybody, my name is Tasman and this is Ruth and welcome back to another NZ Wild Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's just 15 kilometers in along the valley floor, that's pretty flat, so not, not very much elevation gain. And then there's a, there's a hut up there, so we'll probably base ourselves off there, go do a few day trips, maybe an overnighter, and then back out. We've got four days, so should we cool. Kiwi boy does too. <laughs> Not made it to this little hut. Just gonna have a quick last. We'll probably stay here tonight and then push up further the valley later. Um, looking for a deer or a tar. So Reese is from Australia and he's got his own channel. So go check him out. It's Hill Dog TV. He's got some cool stuff over there. Um, it's, the, it's this channel's first collab, so yeah, pretty pretty cool, pretty excited for this trip, um, should be fun. Got a big body tar up there, but it's sort of a bit rainy to see what it is, so I'll get the big camera out. <laughs> Legal, is it? Right, lovely morning, just going to head up to Little Bivy up the hill, um, so maybe three or four hours up the valley and then start doing a bit more serious hunting. Seen one tower just above this hut, had a bit of snow on the tops overnight, looks pretty cool. Up the hill! What do you reckon? All good so far, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. Take your time, just try and keep up with you. <laughs> Not that fast. I don't want to slip here. It's steep. I'm mad deer color with a deer on his back. Probably. <laughs> Looking nice. Lunch. Bit of fresh sign, even though it was raining last night. It looks like this is home for the next couple of nights. That's pretty awesome. It's so tiny. But it's got a tiny little fireplace. <laughs> Yeah, so just spotted a couple of tar up on the hill, maybe three k's away, and then Reese spotted maybe three or four shams just running around next to them. So pretty, pretty awesome. Reese is going to have a quick look up this hill, and I'll head up this way, head up this side, see if we can see something. There's tar just over there, like three k's away. So yeah, I'll try to get a meat under mole on the ground. A yearling or a hound would be ideal. Um, maybe a chamois or something. But see what we can see. Um, fresh juice. That's some nice big poop. Those wee paddocks down there look very dairy. Nothing here yet. Just gonna head, just gonna head a wee way up here. Dear own boys. Way across the other side, just there. It's a young six pointer. There's not much going on here, so I think I'll head onto this ridge, have a good glass over that side. The stag rubbings. Yeah, just gonna have a good glass here. Those tires are still there, way up at the top there.
Yeah, well, after an hour of glassing, nothing really happening around here. But just except for that one stag who was sort of heading down this valley. <laughs> so my head down slowly. It's pretty cold, so my fingers are starting to freeze. It's 5.30. It's my way out of here. Hut's down there. It's pretty fresh. Oh, that has just around the corner. I was just like glassing one last time and there's a spiker just there. There's a couple of deer there, but I think a spiker and a hind, but the camera wasn't doing too well in the low light. Uh, so some pretty average footage. But I think, yeah, they're either onto me or they know something's up. Because um, they're looking this way. Um, it's a bit dark to go look for them to chase them out here. She's a bit frosty. Bit of quick glasses surgery. And we're way laughing. <laughs> right, we're off. Finally, after messing around with the glasses for 15 minutes, eight, it's 8 o'clock. Just gonna go catch up for Reese. Just see if we can get onto this tar. Need to get it across. Quite a bit more sign up here. Some quite fresh stuff too. Bit of a highway here. Some of those footprints are flat too. Therese is just gonna sit down there for, there for a bit and glass all of that while I head up onto this little ridge thing. See what's around the corner. Nothing going on up here. Just gonna head back down and meet old mate. Yeah, Reese spotted five deer there and they sort of boost their way down the hill. They looked kind of spooked by us but they were still like a care away so I think there's been a bit of hunting pressure here and there but onto us um, so I'll just do a bit of bush stalking on the way back see if I can bump into something. It's two o'clock, Reese is headed off up the valley and I think I'll head down the valley doing a bit of saddle to see if there's anything running around the bushes. This time we were up there and we thought that was a bit gnarly to get up so decided not to. Um, but nothing really going on this side. Well Reese got up to about there and the chamois are just there. Reese is just there. The shams just up there. That's kind of getting a bit bushy, I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to go down here and then back along the river. Right, I reckon I'll sit and wait here for a bit. Maybe something will pop out on this face. Nothing obvious going on up here, so I'm just gonna head down before it gets too dark. Uh, I will. <laughs> Get a bit of a campfire go. Well, just heading out now. Nothing seen on the way back, so yeah, I had a lot of fun on this trip. It was cool to share some yarns, but those animals were a bit uh, cunning for me. 
I reckon. And the big stag that Reese was after didn't show up. So, all good. Still a fun trip. But yeah, uh, if you're keen on a bit of sandbar hunting over in Australia, go check out Reese's channel. It's Hill Dog TV. I'll link it down in the description. Um, but yeah, he's a good bugger. Cheers for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like the video and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you in the next adventure.